Pondicherry, officially known as Puducherry, is one of the eight union territories of India. This fascinating small town gives you a close feel of French influence and architecture. In this video, I will present you a comprehensive travel guide and create the perfect itinerary for the people who can spare only two or three days in this beautiful city. Along with the places to be visited in Pondicherry, I will provide you the contact number of the travel agency who had assisted us and made an awesome trip. Though Pondicherry has its own airport and railway station, the frequency of the train and flights are very minimum. So arriving at Chennai airport or railway station is preferable. Chennai is situated around 150 km from Pondicherry. From Chennai, you can take a bus from one of the Asia's largest bus stand, CMBT, at nominal fare. In addition to this, there are private buses as well. On day one, the first place to visit is White Town. Get a glimpse of France in India. Walking around the White Town, you will spot the European style streets, beautiful yellow and white walls, lush green trees, and colorful flowers. White Town is the French quarters in Pondicherry. Primarily, the French family is still living there, and the house is being converted into heritage hotels and restaurants restaurants and art galleries. After White House, the place you need to visit is Aurobindo Ashram, a place that needs no introduction in Pondicherry, widely renowned for its significant heritage and values. The magical environment of the shrine allows you to forget everything as soon as you step inside the ashram and the beautiful backdrop will leave you awestruck. The place bustles with high energy and modern settings that catches the attention of thousands of people from all over the world. It is considered as the best heritage property in the city and indeed a place that deserves your presence. There is no entry fees to visit the ashram. The ashram opens for people from morning 8 am to 12 pm and again at 2 pm to 6 pm in the evening. Please note down that children under 3 years of age are not allowed to enter the ashram. The next place you need to visit is Manakula Vinayagar Temple. Nested in heart of the city, the temple is one of the famous ancient temple in Puducherry that offers holy and divine vibes to the devotees of Lord Ganesha. The temple is beautifully decorated with an array of friezes and stucco figurines that makes the overall structure looks even more impressive. The temple opened for devotees from morning 6 am to 12.30 pm and 4 pm to 9.30 pm in the evening. The recommended exploration time is 1 hour. The next place you need to visit is Chunnambar Beach and Backwater Resort. A creek borders the Chunnambar boathouse on one side and lush green meadows repellate with waterfall backdrop that complete the extinguishness and elegance of the place. The ride along with the backwaters in the Chunnambar boathouse is an experience by itself. The backwaters are situated at the junction of Chunnambar River and the Bay of Bengal. One of the most memorable thing to do near Chunnambar Boathouse is booking a treehouse and planning an overnight stay. The Chunnambar Boathouse remains operational from 9 am in morning to 6 pm in the evening. The beach rides closes after 4 pm while short rides until 6 pm. The last ride to Paradise Island commences at 4 pm and the last ride back to the ferry is at 5.30 pm. On day 1, the last place you need to visit is Promenade. The promenade sits at the heart of the town's ancient French quarters. While the interiors are ultra modern and clean, minimalized design, the outer is colonial French. The promenade's beautifully landscaped porch overlooking the sea is a great place to spend a relaxed evening. The promenade is a luxury resort located just two minutes away from the promenade beach and offers a splendid location for your holiday in Pondicherry. It offers you some of the best knowing dining and longing options in Pondicherry. Having dinner at a cafe in Promenade, we close the trip of day 1. The first place you need to visit on day 2 is Chidambaram Nataraja Temple. The temple has the deep mythical connection. The architecture of the temple represents the link between the arts and the spirituality. The temple was constructed by the Cholas. Cholas consider the Lord Shiva as their family deity. The Nataraj temple has undergone damage, renovation and expansion throughout the second millennium. Although Shiva is the main deity of the temple, it also represents major themes from Vaishnavism, Shaktism and others. The most unique character of the Nataraja temple is the bejeweled image of Nataraj. The maximum exploration time in this temple is 2 hours. After completing Nataraja temple, you need to visit the Tillai Kali temple which is around 1 km from this Nataraja temple. 
The next place you need to visit is Pichavaram Mangrove Forest. It's an amazing and unique place near Chidambaram. The tranquility, the cool weather in the middle of nowhere, different flora and fauna are some of the major reasons why every avid traveler must visit this place. Pichavaram consists of number of islands. It is the second largest mangrove forest in the world covering about 1100 hectare of area. It is separated from the Bay of Bengal by a sandbar. It also supports the existence of rare varieties of economically important shells and pinfishes. The forest is located between the two prominent estuaries, the Vellar estuary in the north and Kolirun estuary in the south. It has the abundant scope for water sports such as roving, kayaking and canoeing. In the mangrove forest, there are more than 400 water routes available for boating and the mangrove forest is permanently rooted with a few feet of water. The next place you need to visit is Silver Beach. It got its name from the silvery water waves that embraces our feet. People who want to spend their leisure at peace and tranquility loves this beach to the core. Silver Beach also ranks second in being the longest beach on the Coromandel coast. The last place to be visited on day 2 will be Tirupa Puliyur Padaleshwara Temple. Constructed during the Pallava and Medieval Chola period, the temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva. The recommended exploration time in the temple will be 1 hour. After finishing this temple, the trip for day 2 is completed. On day 3, the first place need to be visited is Senji Fort. Britishers called the fort as Troy of the East and the Maratha king Shivaji called it as the most impregnable fortress in the India. The fort is administered and maintained currently by the Archaeological Survey of India. During its history, it has been under the possession of several political powers such as the Vijayanagar Nayakas, the Bijapur Sultans, the Mughals, the Marathas, the French and the English. A mere look at this formidable fortress even today allows one of the comprehend the strategic significance of this structure. The fort attracts a lot of tourists throughout the year and it remains open all the days from morning 9 am to 4.30 pm in the evening. Visiting the fort during the weekdays is advisable as the crowd will be less in those days. After Sinji Fort, the next place need to be visited is Aroville Mandir. Out of the popular sightseeing places in Pondicherry, Aroville is one of such places that has equally gained the attention of people from all over the world due to its spiritual significance. It presents a fine blend of traditional Indian and modern western architecture. This will be your 3 days itinerary for the Pondicherry trip. If you have additional timing, you can visit the Pondicherry Botanical Garden and the Gangai Gonda Cholavaram which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Firstly, the Botanical Garden was developed in the year of 1826 to study the performance of various plants in the climate of Pondicherry. The opening time of the Botanical Garden will be from morning 10 am to evening 5 pm. Coming to Gangai Gonda Cholavaram, it is the capital city of Cholas for almost 250 years. Rajendra Chola created this beautiful city and it is from here he controlled the area of Malaysia, Indonesia, Sumatra, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Currently, the Bragadishwara temple in Gangai Gonda Cholavaram is maintained by Archaeological Survey of India and you need at least an exploration time of 2 hours. And finally coming to the budget of the trip, we suggest you the adult travels from Pondicherry and they have collected 11,000 rupees for the 3 days trip. If you are staying for additional days, besides you can visit is Mahabalipuram, Tiruvannamalai and Dharasuram Airavateshwara temple. Thank you all for watching this video.